Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing a 2024 election prediction between former UN Ambassador to the United Nations Nikki Haley and Democratic President of the United States Joe Biden. So, with that said, we'll get into the video. Uh, Joe Biden will start off by winning the West Coast, as he would for most predictions. Then I think Joe Biden will win Illinois. He will win the West Coast. I think for the time being, I'm also going to put Virginia in the state. Although, I think Nikki Haley would do better than other Republicans in the state of Virginia. It's just the fact that I don't know if the Republican Party is going to contest Virginia much at all. Uh, the state of Maine would go safe, probably, as well as the state of New York. So, Joe Biden starts off at 195. Uh, Nikki Haley will now come in, and she'll win a lot of these Republican red L states, as I like to call them. And... She will also do relatively well in the South. She'll win a lot of the Southern states. And yeah, so Nikki Haley will start off with 124. Now, the good thing about Nikki Haley for Republicans is she'll appeal more to a lot more rural, or not rural, but suburban and women voters, but she'll likely lose support among rural voters, and Rust Belt voters especially. So, on the map, we'll see how this goes. So, Nikki Haley will actually make Colorado and New Mexico likely which is something I've not done in any of the previous predictions before. So that is actually a very, very good sign for out west. Uh, Minnesota, I think, would be likely. Nikki Haley, I think, would win. Texas, actually probably likely. I think that she would have a much better shot because she doesn't have the Trump appeal. And that, I think, has made Texas very, very close. So she actually might overperform President Trump in the state of Texas. Now, the states of Iowa and Ohio, again, I'm going to give them Nikki Haley. But I'm going to put them in the lean column because I don't think her Rust Belt appeal is as much as Donald Trump's. However, she will win them in the lean column, I think. The first, actually, I'll go to New Hampshire first. New Hampshire, I think, will go for Joe Biden in the lean column. I think Nikki Haley is one of the best Republican candidates to try to win New Hampshire. But I still think if Election Day were to occur, I think it would be close. I could see Joe Biden winning the state like 51-49 maybe. But nevertheless, I do think Joe Biden would win New Hampshire. I think Maine's second district would also go for Joe Biden. Again, the lack of Rust Belt support and the lack of rural voter support among Nikki Haley will hurt her in a state like Maine. However, Nebraska's second district will flip back to uh, Nikki Haley and the Republican Party. I could absolutely see that happening. I do think Nikki Haley would win the state of, of uh, Florida. Excuse me. Um, it'll be close. I'll put it in the uh, tilt column. But I do think Nikki Haley would be able to win the state of Florida. I absolutely seen that as a possibility. Nevada, I think, will be very, very close in the tilt column, but I do think that Joe Biden will win the state of Nevada. I just don't know if any Republicans can necessarily flip Nevada in 2024, but they can certainly make it close. I think it'll be a surprise how close that state really will be. The first big surprise is I think Arizona actually flips back to Nikki Haley in the Republican column. I think Arizona's made it pretty clear they don't want Trump like Republicans, they want more of the moderate Republicans, and I think that certainly plays into Nikki Haley's political wing very, very well. I think Arizona would flip back for Nikki Haley. I also think that the state of Georgia, surprisingly, would also flip back for Nikki Haley. I think Nikki Haley is very good. She would have a very similar performance, I think, to Mitt Romney in the South and out West, and I think that'll be very, very good for her. The only issue being that she does not have the Rust Belt support that Donald Trump would have. So I think Nikki Haley would also win the state of North Carolina, and she would get it tilt to her. But this is where the problem comes in, because I think Joe Biden would win the state of Michigan lean. I think Joe Biden would also win the state of Pennsylvania lean, and I think he would also win the state of Wisconsin lean. My reasoning for this is, again, I think I made it pretty clear, Nikki Haley does not have the Rust Belt support that a Donald Trump or a Ron DeSantis may have. And I don't even know if she has the amount of Rust Belt support that Mike Pence might have, to be completely honest with you. Nikki Haley is very well at winning a lot of the more moderate voters and establishment-like Republican candidates. So that's why we've seen Republicans winning in Arizona, Georgia, and North Carolina, and Texas getting more conservative. That is evidence because Nikki Haley is able to appeal to more of those women and suburban voters who either didn't vote for Trump last time or just stayed home. And I think Nikki Haley will be able to win those voters back, so she'll strengthen up Arizona and Georgia and North Carolina again. But with that, we'll see Nikki Haley will be weaker in states like Ohio, Iowa, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania than, say, Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis or, again, even Mike Pence might be. I think Nikki Haley will perform stronger in Nevada and New Hampshire than a lot of other 
Republicans will as well, again, due to that suburban and women appeal. Uh, Colorado, New Mexico will also be a little bit closer. Still in the Democratic column, but a little bit closer. And Minnesota, I don't think the Republicans are going to have much of a shot at flipping in 2024. I think 2020 is kind of writing on the wall for that one. I don't see Minnesota flipping anytime in the near future. So that's going to be about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like the video. If you really liked it, please subscribe to the channel. And when you do subscribe, please tap the bell icon so you get notified when I post a new video. That way, whenever I post one, it will pop up and you can see it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.